Hello everyone. I am Dr. Jinam Shah. I am a consultant pulmonologist and allergy specialist working in Mumbai, India. Today we are going to be starting a series of YouTube videos on asthma, describing what actually asthma is, what are the problems of people who develop asthma and how to treat asthma and all those uh, nitty-gritties we are going to be discussing today. And first of all you need to know what is asthma and how the word comes in. So word comes in from the word asthma which is a Greek word which means that you are panting hard or breathing hard. You would be surprised to know overall there are 3 billion people all across the globe who are suffering from asthma and approximately 10,000 deaths per day happens because of asthma. If you talk particularly about India, the prevalence rate is 2 to 3 percent. So if you can imagine around 100 people you meet every single day, 2 to 3 percent, that is 2 to 3 people would have asthma. And the prevalence of asthma in India is around 35 million people. That is a huge, huge number. But surprisingly, asthma still is a big taboo in India. We need to break that taboo today so that you know we can openly discuss about asthma. So how does asthma happen? Asthma happens because of two factors. One is a genetic factor, which is an inborn factor, and second is the environmental factors. When these two come together, you have a problem. We'll discuss each of these factors in the next video. But first of all, when these factors come together, suppose you are in an environment which is polluted, what happens is when you inhale those kind of polluted environment, first of all, it goes into your nose. So a lot of people have runny nose, rhinitis, uh, blocked nose, sneezing, and all those kind of symptoms. From the nose when you breathe, ultimately it goes from the nose inside the windpipes. So similar reaction happens in the windpipe, but windpipe is an internal organ which you can't see really what happens. But what happens is because of that allergic reaction, there is narrowing of the windpipe, swelling of the windpipe, at the same time the muscles constrict. So you find it difficult to breathe. So imagine you are breathing from a narrowed pipe. So there is obviously going to be some amount of noise which comes across. Something like whistling. If you want to whistle, can you whistle with an open mouth? No, you can only whistle with a closed mouth and that is the time that the sound production happens. Similarly, with an open windpipe, the wheezing does not happen. Only with a closed windpipe, the wheezing would happen, which you hear actually, which is the congestion. So this is what happens in asthma and it happens very frequently with every change in weather, with every change in environment, with certain other factors which we'll be discussing later on, this kind of trigger happens. Generally, asthma starts off in childhood. Then, you know, generally it progresses over time. But how long does it last? No one can know. It can last for a few years, it can last for an eternity, for an entire lifetime also. This is something which is unpredictable. So we spoke about asthma, but there are a couple of other conditions which are very commonly associated with asthma. One is allergic rhinitis. So a lot of people have those runny nose symptoms and all those things. Generally starts again in childhood and then later on people have uh, asthma symptoms. One more very important factor is atopic eczema, that people have reactions over the skin, generally flexor areas. It starts off in childhood and then gradually progresses over time. So this is two very important factors which are associated with asthma. So if you have those kind of factors in your childhood, you, you know, generally understand that chances of asthma later on in life increases. An important factor again is genetics. So people who have uh, genetic tendency like fa father, mother, siblings have those kind of atopic sensations, atopic uh, problems like allergic rhinitis, atopic eczema or asthma, your kid are more likely to develop asthma. So in this video, we learned what is actually asthma, how does that happen, what are the you know causes and uh, genetic factors that we learned uh, in this today's video. If you find this uh, video informative, kindly share it with your friends, family, colleagues, people near and dear ones. If you have any other questions, you can definitely post it in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer those queries.